Yogaids Filter Characteristics Series on Microwave Engineering Lecture Number 1.4 zero in the present session our focus is on the filter characteristics of waveguides it can be noticed waveguides are frequency sensitive devices and also frequency selective devices if you go a little bit deep it can be noticed that their frequency selective nature is similar to that of a high pass filter they allow the wave to travel through them only when frequency is more than certain value which is called cut off frequency when frequency is smaller wave is not even allowed to enter into the wave along with uh, this information some more aspects are also so we are going to learn in the present session let us move further guides here guides mean parallel plate guides rectangular wave guides and also circular wave guides guides are frequency sensitive and frequency selective devices they behave like high pass filters preventing lower frequencies and allowing higher frequencies they are associated with certain frequency called cut off frequency whose value depends upon guide dimensions and mode of the wave that is tra traveling through them the wave length corresponding to cut off frequency is called a cut off wave length under filter characteristics normally the parameters that are discussed thoroughly are two one is cut off frequency another is cut off wave length on what factors this cut off frequency is dependent on what factors this cut off wave length is dependent how to reduce cut off frequency or how to increase cut off wave length all these aspects right now we are going to study before that formally let us define what is cut off frequency it is a minimum possible frequency a wave can have in order to get proper propagated through the guide if frequency of the wave is less than this quantity then the guide says no to the wave propagation its value depends upon facing or guide dimensions and also on the mode of the wave cut off wave length is in fact it is the wave length corresponding to cut off frequency it can be defined as maximum allowed wave length a wave can have in order to get propagated through the guide with this definitions so let us uh, try to have an expression for cut off frequency cut off wavelength 2 now consider characteristic equation gamma r is equal to h square minus omega square mu epsilon here gamma is propagation constant it is cut off wave number h omega is angular frequency mu epsilon are constitutive parameters of the hollow region medium from this expression you can see depending upon the relative values of h square omega square mu epsilon the propagation constant gamma can be pure real or imaginary when h square is more than omega square mu epsilon propagation constant is pure real when propagation constant is pure real it means wave guide is acting as a attenuator pure attenuator no wave motion or no wave no signal through it however when h square is less than omega square mu epsilon propagation constant is pure imaginary it indicates the wave is traveling through the guide without attenuation pure transmission now the changeover from pure attenuator to pure, pure transmission of the line takes place when h square is equal to let us say at a, at a certain frequency called fcr omega c changeover is taking place at that frequency h square equal to omega c square mu epsilon okay. so during this changeover at this changeover frequency gamma becomes zero so zero equal to h square minus omega c square mu epsilon solving this we will be getting fc cutoff frequency is equal to h by 2 pi mu epsilon and frequency is less than fc h square is more than omega square mu epsilon gamma is pure real now guide is pure attenuated when frequency is more than fc omega square mu epsilon is uh, large gamma is pure imaginary so pure transmission unattenuated transmission of the signal is taking place so fc is h by 2 pi root mu epsilon but before going further one point to be added is so that 
uh, the characteristic equation gamma equal to square root of h square minus omega square minus epsilon it is valid uh, for all the three configurations which are under consideration that is ppg parallel plate guide rectangular wave guide and circular wave guide as this equation is valid for all the three cases, the resultant relation for Fc is also valid for all the three cases. Fc equal to h by 2 pi root mu epsilon. This is for all the three configurations being valid. <coughs> but uh, point is h. H assumes different values for different configurations. H is 1 for PPG, H is different for rectangular waveguide, H assumes something else for circular waveguide. But this is common, H by 2 pi root mu epsilon is Fc. Now if you sketch whatever all we discussed, if you give a graphical form, then it appears like this. Here it is transfer characteristic on one side, on the other side you have frequency. If you sketch what we have is up to Fc, no transmission, up to Fc, no transmission after FC everything is getting transmitted without any problem the changeover is taking place at FC okay the changeover is indicated with a straight line but this is an ideal situation ideal case in practice it doesn't happen like that what happens is when the frequency is slightly lesser to FC somewhere here in this region lesser than FC but near to FC what happens is signal is allowed entry into the waveguide and it is even allowed to pass certain distance here at attenuation is not infinity. In ideal case, attenuation is infinity, but here attenuation is not infinity. Not only that, if you consider certain frequency range which is near to FC like this here, here attenuation is supposed to be zero. Ideal case, it is supposed to be zero, but here it is getting attenuated. So in practice, in reality, in, in the actual waveguides, ideal conditions, they are not uh, appear. Its characteristic appear like this. A curve. It's a curve. It is not pure step it is uh, a curve somewhat similar to step so the point which we have noticed from this curve is that uh, frequencies that are uh, near to cutoff frequency either this way or that way if frequencies are lesser then attenuation is not infinity so they enter into the waveguide and when frequencies are higher fc higher than fc but uh, near to it then even though they are within the pass band attenuation still they attract some attenuation therefore point is conclusion is that uh, we better avoid uh, the waveguide, the waveguide at frequencies that are near to FC. FC. If you use frequencies which is somewhat farther away from FC, let us say somewhere here, you can find the characteristic of the practical waveguide is somewhat more near to ideal waveguide. So normally frequencies which are slightly farther away, higher than cutoff frequency are used in practice. Now H, what is H? H is, FC is, we have already seen, FC is H by 2 pi root mu epsilon. As already mentioned, H assumes different values for different situations. In case of parallel waveguide, parallel plate guide, H is given by M pi by A. A is a spacing, M is mode number. This is the expression for both TM and TE. <coughs> In case of rectangular waveguides, both TE, TM and TE modes, it is given by square root of M pi by A whole square plus N pi by B whole square. M and N are mode numbers, A, B are spacing. A is wider dimension, B is smaller dimension. In case of circular waveguides, H is H A and M by A, which is equal to normally it is indicated H and M. A is radius, H A prime N M by A, usually indicated by H prime N M. These are uh, roots of uh, Bessel function equation, which I am going to show very soon. So, in case of PPG FC, if you replace uh, H, H by the expression which we had in the previous slide, you will be getting FC like this 1 by root mu epsilon m by 2a this is fc from fc lambda c can be obtained by considering this particular equation that is fc into lambda c is velocity of the wave velocity of the wave is given by root mu epsilon so lambda c is 1 by root mu epsilon by fc considering this relation lambda c can be easily obtained frequency multiplied by wavelength gives you velocity of the wave similarly in case of rectangular waveguides substituting h value fc is available like this 1 by 2 root mu epsilon multiplied by under square root m by a whole square plus m by b whole square now once fc is obtained lambda c one can obtain within no time in case of circular waveguides same story bring h value and substitute in the general expression that is fc 
equal to h by 2 pi root mu epsilon substitute you will be getting like this this is for tm this is for te and the corresponding values of cutoff wavelength can be found from as i already mentioned fc into lambda c is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon which is velocity of the wave here h a n m are roots of bessel function equation j n h a equal to 0 j h a prime n m are roots of equation j n prime h a equal to 0 these roots are uh, they are available in tabular form one can uh, find them here uh, some important uh, roots are being given here for different values of m and n roots of equation j n x equal to 0 and j prime n x equal to 0 upper values pertain to first equation lower values to the second one they are available in the literature in mathematical tables these values are available some are being shown here to have a taste of what is what what is happening here Bessel functions are shown in graphical form you can see j0 j1 j2 j3 etc etc one can sketch j4 j5 j6 j7 also but here only up to three they are shown one or two points uh, you require to notice first point is all functions they are starting from zero j1 is starting from zero j2 is starting from zero starting point is this r0 j3 is also from zero everything is zero except j0 j0 is starting from one this is one aspect you have to keep in mind another aspect is appearance wise as you move away from the origin appearance wise they are very much similar sinusoidal sometimes people may you know, tend to uh, confuse with the sinusoidal actually they are not the sinusoidal they are not even periodic so <clears throat> appearance wise they are somewhat sinusoidal these two aspects better keep in mind this is what uh, i want to share with you as far as filter characteristics of the waveguides are concerned enough